Yeah, so one thing I haven't been doing is leveling up much vitality or endurance. I've just been going for strength because I just like to get the big damage out. But yeah, by all means, if you're having a bit of trouble, get up some uh, vitality because it was still... Actually, that's not that much. Yeah, it's quite a bit. But just if you get vitality and the physical defense, which gives you more survivability options. Um, but I'm going to throw this all into strength again. Actually, I'm going to get to 50 and then stop. So... Because it sells scales of strength and skill. If we push skill up one, we don't get an upgrade. But if we push it up for a second time, we get three damage points. So that's going to be where I go from here. Nice. Uh, and I'm just going to top up with some blood vials for the rest of those because I'm running really low. Alright, let's go to Cathedral Ward. See how everyone's doing. Oh, some things have happened. Okay, so we're back in the cathedral. Uh, the whore woman has gone. The uh, nun is there. Let's have a look what these have to say. That guy's the same. He hasn't changed his dialogue. She's still chuckling to herself. Uh, but the uh, the lady in red has gone, and there's uh, some blood patches about, which lead over here. Was it a beast? Or could someone from outside have come in and... Oh, I just don't... <laughs> no. There's a trail kind of leading down here, so we can follow this trail. Of blood. Is there any blood patches in here? Doesn't look like it, but there's only one way to go. Let's just go all the way down. We gain some insight. And here we see. Uh oh. It can't be. This is a nightmare. Crying. Okay, she's just like crying. Uh, so we can't just kill these, right? Actually, I'm gonna do it. Kill her right now. And we get the third umbilical cord from the little creature down here. Or a third of the umbilical cord. So currently, I've only got. Oh, I've got two, two thirds. So we've got one from the, uh, the, uh, the old workshop and one from the, uh, little tiny baby thing that popped out of her. Um, so let's head back. I'm heading back to the nightmare. <clears throat> and we've got Mogo's Loft Middle. Okay, now usually uh, in this part of the game, if you're playing online, you may get um, invaded. The bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. Oh my god. Seriously. almost to death. And there's some more chunks over there. And some pebbles. <clears throat> I probably should have just checked on my weapon actually. Probably could have upgraded the uh, the pistol a bit. Um
but the, the, the cries of the baby are becoming louder. Um, so that's where we want to go. But before we go there, we're going to take a detour and kind of get the material for our for our upgrade. Uh, so we've got some things here. If we go onto there, it's going to take us back down to the middle. Um, this... Um, we activate a bit later on. So I'm going to do this as we go down. So there's the bridge over there. Uh, there's a little uh, hole in the wall up there, uh, which is what we're going to try and get onto. But yeah, this just takes you to the, the kind of middle area where you can get the uh, the other thing to go back down there. If you wanted, but we're going to make this jump. So you just want to be looking out for where it is, see where it's coming. There it is, and then just make a roll off. Uh, and now we're in this area. <coughs> God, I hate this bit, especially because it's full of those brain women. You can hear them. They're pretty scary. Bell ring one runs a sinister bell. Should ring him one here? Are we going to get invaded? I'm kind of scared that I'm going to get invaded at this bit. Infected organ, another chalice dungeon thing. So I'm going to top up full health because I absolutely despise this bit. <clears throat> Mainly because of these brain women. Um, but like the first thing they're going to do is try and grab you. But they're such. The timing on it is so weird. <sighs> I've got out of it. Just went for it again. Um. Am I going to get frenzied or is it going to stop? I'm going to get frenzied. Uh, and then in the next area we have two to deal with. Good fun. But there's one of them. Is it like either side or is it just one? It might actually be just one. No, there's two. I don't want to like have one. But fair, let's wait for it to come around here. Can we get a back attack on these? Nope. Oh, yeah. So annoying. I think she's kind of spotted me, but yeah, hold off. Let that frenzy tick. Oh, it just missed. Just missed. Avoided that one. So yeah, the quicker you take them down, the less frenzy build up you get. This is why it's always good to have that frenzy resistance plus 200. Just so you can kind of wait it out a little bit. Is there an item around here? Just wondering. Check in. While I wait for this to come down a bit. on these. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, she just grabbed me. It's over. Game over. It's the timing as well. I'm frenzied before she even finishes with me, so I'm dead. And that's what you need to be careful of. <clears throat> Her arms, I need to watch out for her arms. Come on, let's get frenzied. She's got my hair. She's got my echoes. Just fucking do it. I might be okay for this one. I've got time to to heal. Just 
waiting for that frenzy to clip out. Get those heals in. And then we can uh, take another bash. Oh. Curse, Temper, Damp, Blood Gem. Five. But yeah, those can be so annoying. And of course we've got the uh, frenzy. It's just to just stopped. Okay, that's t tipping down. We've got another one of those. Um, and then we come into this room. Not too bad. It's just full of uh, patch, <laughs> patch of spiders. Just the same as the other ones. Like, they're easy one-on-one because -on -one you've got time to kind of just to R1 them down if you're actually here. What's that? Hmm. They got their own little spells. I'm wondering if that's something you can get in game. I haven't seen it in the actual spell items just yet. Interesting. Uh, okay, then we're going to head down here. Just be a little bit careful when you're heading down these stairs because some holes in the floor. This one to, oh, just one to the left, actually. Uh, and then we get to this bit. You can see a giant eyeball in the middle. Uh, so if you came down the, the back side, the wrong, <laughs> the wrong side of this, you would have ended up um, across the end of that bridge on the left. And you would have... Uh, yeah, that brain thing would have been emitting the the light and kind of causing your frenzy the whole way across, which makes it a bit hard. Okay, but now that's gone, we don't get the frenzy falling down anywhere. And then we've got this hole to jump into. I think there is. So we've got some spiders over here. And we've got one of those things. Let's take out these spiders first. Just kind of jump in the middle and take those out. And then we've got uh, the frenzy lady. So if we... Just seen us probably best to get that frenzy first get frenzied heal up whoa we've got the spikes as well okay oh my god and we're dead fuck you man fuck you I'm dead. Fuck. She is just an evil. <clears throat> but you know, if the game was easy, it wouldn't be a Souls like. It wouldn't be a Souls like. It would be a Souls one game. So there's gonna be some hard bits. Do do do. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through here. Hopefully, I can navigate. Get the frenzy proc. Heal up from past. All that kind of stuff. I don't know if these spiders follow actually. This one is. Uh, the brain's already down, so we don't need to do that again. Like, you could just literally go through the back way from here and just be like, I'm done. Oh my god, fuck off, you shitty spiders. I'm getting arrowed as well, so I'm taking more damage. Because apparently she fires arrows at you. And I'm actually, I'm running out of healing. This might not be a good thing. Let's get that frenzy tick. And try and take her out, because she is... Fucking me off, and I'm still gonna get that hit from the frenzy. Wow, 
Wow, so many blood vials lost from doing that. Uh, what did we get though? The choir bell. Uh, that's gonna be a spell, right? Choir bell, where are you? Uh, invigorates all cooperating parties, healing them. Okay, so this is a healing item for uh, co-op. Special honor at all for the uh, of the choir. High-ranking members of the church, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all co-operators. So healing spec, PvP. Um, for co-op. Um, and that's what we get from there. Is it worth it? You decide. Just don't wanna, I think, is this the spider room down here? Yeah, so I think this is the spider room anyway down here. Don't wanna be going back down there. I'm uh, just gonna check, see if there's anything in this room. That's it. Okay, and then we can come out this way. I think that's all the, the danger over within this area. And then we can just come around here and collect everything in this on this bridge. Must be some like gem upgrades as well. Loads of Great One Wisdom. That gives you uh, two insight, I believe, per Great One Wisdom. Just checking and make sure there's none hidden around. Um, can we roll? I don't want to roll off there, but I don't think you can roll off there. Does it lead anywhere? I'm just intrigued by that. Can we like jump over that bit? No. Um. Yeah, nice. Got these sound effects as well. These are just like bones. Piles of rotting flesh and bones. I've been spiked. It looks like Frenzy. They've been spiked with Frenzy. Maybe they're previous uh, hunters. Uh, so yeah, if we go up this way, this is the, the way that we opened with that iron door key. So you could come back out that way, but we're going to go a different way. Why is she still ringing that bell? So this is where the, uh, the giant eye thing was. You can see there's like loads of eyes on the side of the walls as well. So just jump down there safely. Don't jump forward because you might fall down there. Um, yeah, there's loads of eyeballs like webbed to the side. Eyes on the inside. Looks like spider webs. Maybe these are patches that's been doing this. And then we get the blood rock from this corpse here. So we can get our plus 10 at weapon. Nice. And then let's head out this way. And this is going to take us back down to the bridge. So I think that bell ringing woman. Oh, uh, the one I was thinking of falls over there on that balcony, which is not there. Um, okay, cool. Okay, and then we're going to get to a really weird part in the game. Uh, I might as well do this. I'm just going to kill these anyway because I could do it with some more uh, blood files. Especially for the DLC area because we're going to take a lot of damage for that in that place.
So I'm just going to clear down here again on the way to... Where I'm going. Which made this video even longer. Will be worth it. So we've got some new gems. We've just got to try and survive this fat guy. Or go. It could be but I don't know. Okay, let's just go around. Dodge. Dodge and kill. Um, so when the bridge got raised, I think it was when the bridge got raised, it kind of it lowered this cage. Still got this little guy to kill. Oh. The lead here. So we can go in here. Looks like we're nowhere, but we can walk out here safely. And we can start to see a shadow in the in the distance. So this is the thing that dropped. Lovely. I'm just wondering, can we do anything else? So we're gonna wanna put on uh, make contact. Let's pull it on the bar. So we're gonna go to gestures and go to make contact. And we're gonna leave it. That looks at us. Oh, it's looking at us. Look at that giant eyeball. It's got eyeballs all around it. Some kind of <sighs> defigured brain. And we got moon. Cool. Does anything else happen from that? I think that's it. Okay, so we got the moon rune. That is gonna be one that gives us more, um, more uh, blood echoes. So we got the strongest most powerful one more echoes from slain enemies so there's three versions of that one so there should be three versions of i as well ah, maybe anyway we're done with this guy so slowly kill it So do you get some blood echoes, you also get a living string, which is another chalice dungeon um, ritual item and a rain of blood. I don't know what's like down here. <sighs> I don't feel like fall off or, or anything. I haven't really explored the full path, but I think that's what you get from down here, <clears throat> which is enough, right? The new ruin. <laughs> A chalice dungeon material and some uh, some blood echoes. Ah, 
Okay, nice. Um, so yeah, that's it for this area. I'm going to head back. Upgrade the weapon. Get that plus 10. Um, okay, so let's head up. Head up here first. Go for our weapon. Get that plus, plus 10. That's that looked like a, a big damage increase. Do we need to do anything with a sword? Put it to blood plus 9, uh, I guess. Uh, check out the blood gems as well. See if there's anything new that we can increase our damage with. But yeah, just like any of the higher damage in gems are going to be cursed. So there's going to be like a drawback to some of them. Yeah, let's put that gem in there. Plus 18%. Some uh, nice damage there. I've actually got all these uh, items as well. All of these cold bloods. So if you've got loads of these, like now's a good time to use them. Okay, with uh, how many is that? Four of those. We got three points of damage. We got so many more with that skill. So this weapon is strength and skill scaling. So if you if you level them up together, you're getting more attack. But I like to get that strength out of the way first. Um, because it scales higher with strength. So you're gonna get slightly more from that. We're going strength first. At some point, we we'll get 32 of those. That's a nice healthy stock. And let's head back to the nightmare. Back to Mogo's loft middle. 